Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. For today's video, the problem itself is very simple. We just want to calculate the area of the region overlapped by two ellipses, x squared over 4 plus y squared equals 1, and x squared plus y squared over 4 equals 1. The first ellipse has a semi-major axis of 2 along the x-axis and semi-minor axis 1 along the y-axis, and for the second one, the ellipse itself is congruent to the first one, but the semi-major axis is now along the y-axis. In order to calculate the area of the shaded region, let us first think about the symmetry. You can easily notice that the setting of this problem contains many axes of symmetries. Due to these symmetries, we can say that the area A of the entire overlap is simply 8 times the area of this green shaded region, the region between the red ellipse and the line y equals x. We can calculate this area by integration, but first, we have to find the coordinates of this intersection point located on the first quadrant. We can easily do that by simultaneously solving these two equations. From the first equation, we have y squared equals 1 minus x squared over 4. So substituting this into the second equation eliminates y, and we have x squared plus 1 quarter times 1 minus x squared over 4 equals 1. So x squared plus 1 quarter minus x squared divided by 16 equals 1. So 15 over 16 x squared equals 3 quarters, which gives x squared equals 4 over 5. And from here, y squared also equals 4 over 5. Therefore, the intersection point on the first quadrant is 2 over square root of 5 comma 2 over square root of 5. Of course, you can just use the symmetry instead that this intersection point must lie on the line y equals x, hence we can let k comma k as its coordinates. So now with this point obtained, we can finally calculate the area of the green region. It is integral from 0 to 2 over square root of 5, first the red ellipse, so from here we have y equals square root of 1 minus x squared over 4 for the upper half of the ellipse. So square root of 1 minus x squared over 4, then minus this line, which is y equals x. So we have integral square root of 1 minus x squared over 4 dx minus integral x dx. For the first part, we use the good old trigonometric substitution. We let x equals 2 sine theta, which gives dx equals 2 cosine theta d theta. Moreover, when x equals 0, theta equals 0. And when x equals 2 over square root of 5, let theta equals alpha which means that 2 over square root of 5 equals 2 sine alpha, or sine alpha equals 1 over square root of 5. With this substitution, we have integral from 0 to alpha square root of 1 minus 4 sine square theta over 4 times 2 cosine theta d theta. And for this part, we simply have the integral of x, which is 1 half times x squared. So this inner part is 1 minus sine squared theta, which is cosine squared theta. So by taking square root, this entire part becomes cosine theta. So we have integral from 0 to alpha to cosine squared theta d theta. And if we calculate the second term, we simply have 2 over 5. Here, by the half-angle formula of cosine, 2 cosine squared theta equals 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So by integrating, we have theta plus 1 half times sine 2 theta, 0 alpha, which gives alpha plus 1 half times sine 2 alpha minus 2 over 5. 
and using the double angle formula for sine, this one half sine 2 alpha can be written as sine alpha cosine alpha. Here, we use the fact that sine alpha equals 1 over square root of 5 and that alpha is an acute angle, which gives cosine alpha equals square root of 1 minus sine squared alpha, so 1 over 5, which gives 2 over square root of 5. Moreover, we also have alpha equals inverse sine of 1 over square root of 5, where the negative first power means the inverse sine function. Therefore, we have sine inverse of 1 over square root of 5 plus 1 over square root of 5 times 2 over square root of 5 minus 2 over 5, which simply equals sine inverse 1 over square root of 5. And this is the area of this green shaded region, which is the 1 8th of the entire overlapped area A. Therefore, the entire overlapped area is 8 times the green area, so 8 sine inverse 1 over square root of 5. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in another video.